On the 5th and 6th of February 2015, Barcelona hosted the event Construim Vinclas, Let's Build Links. More than 500 people met in the Bourne neighborhood to learn about the Vinclas Beseena project and to play an active role in defining and launching it. Vinclas is an innovative project promoted by the Barcelona City Council to build collaborative support networks for the elderly who are alone, and it does so using digital technology. El programa Vincles és una revolució perquè és l'aplicació de les noves tecnologies per fer la vida fàcil a la gent. I aquest programa en concret és per a la gent gran o per a la gent que està sola. I posar-los en comunicació amb el seu entorn, amb el seu entorn més immediat i amb els serveis que produeix la societat. I això dona confort, dona la capacitat de generar moltes complicitats i la capacitat de generar convivència, que és el que necessitem amb una ciutat que cada dia hi haurà més gent gran. On the first day, 350 directors of associations and companies with services for the elderly, politicians and city residents shared their experiences and proposals to lay the conceptual groundwork for the future of the project. Vicky Kamak, founder of Ties, a network to connect people with the same concept as Vinclas, shared her experience in Canada. Kamak focused on two key elements. Firstly, we must deal with the feeling of isolation these people experience, as it can affect their health. And secondly, we need to create health and social care networks to keep the elderly active and part of the community. The second day, 200 technicians, professionals and volunteers who work with the elderly participated in co-creation workshops, focusing on each of the eight challenges posed by this project. The aim was to evaluate the expected workings and applications of the project and to collect new ideas, taking advantage of the experience and expertise of both professionals and volunteers who work directly with the elderly. Vinclas Beseena, promoted by the Barcelona City Council Department of Quality of Life, Equality and Sports, has received first prize in the Bloomberg Foundation Mayor's Challenge 2014 and is now in the pilot phase of design and development.